Hello guys and dolls, welcome to my first ever video Wine Wednesday, which may either be my best or worst idea ever. We will find out together. Um, today I am reviewing, let's see if you guys can see the label. Oh good, it's probably going to be backwards. It's Plagido's Winery and it is their <coughs> Cabernet Franc. Yeah, I think I'm saying this right. It's aged in oak barrels for 12 months and it is a state bottle, which means it's bottled on property and made with New Jersey wine grapes and as you can see I've already opened it and oh you guys can't see it it's a Mickey um cork it makes me happy anywho um it is a dry red wine as I promised you guys I always started trying the dries and the you know the deeper richer reds instead of all the sweet wines that I'm used to you guys know I love my sweet wines but this is really good um so I'm going to try it on camera <laughs> I've actually tried it before, so like it's not like I'm trying this blind. I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know what I'm tasting. I've tasted it before, and let's get all pretentious and smell it first and all those good things. What I love is it almost has like a cherry smell about it. It's very um sweet smelling. You can smell the fruit. You can smell the grapes. You can actually smell the oak. As strange as that sounds, um, I'm sure somebody who's more knowledgeable about wine than I am will probably tell you that that's what you're supposed to smell. You're supposed to smell that it was made in oak barrels and stuff like that. And it creates a richer, deeper flavor, I I think. Um, the first thing I taste is sort of a, a sourness from the tannins. Then you get the definite fruity, grapey aftertaste. And then you can taste almost, I keep wanting to say a woodsy flavor, um, like a smoky woodsy flavor. Like not smoky like barbecue, but definitely you can tell it was made in an oak barrel versus, you know, a metal drum. I love the smell. It just smells, it smells really, really sweet. And as I said, cherries, but the taste, if you like dry red wine, you'll love this. If you're like me and you like sweet wine, you might not love it as much, but it's really a good flavor for a dry red wine. Um, I like to think of this as a drinkable red wine, um, dry red wine. This is not, you know, this is, this is, I can talk, the red wine you would, you know, pour a glass of and watch your favorite drama and just sit there and drink it. Um, you could also sip it with, like, dinner and stuff like that, but I think it's a good drinkable wine. Like, you know, it's not something that you feel you need to slowly sip to savor every flavor. You can get a good taste of it and still, you know, drink it down. Um, I love the color. I don't know if you guys can tell so well, but, like, it's definitely a deep dark red um and I keep wanting to smell it as I said it smells just like cherries very strong on the tannins but yeah definitely a grapey you know dry aftertaste and it's very good um very smooth like I don't feel some dry red wines leave a bitter aftertaste on my tongue after I've had a sip and you don't get that you get the very rich you know, notes and flavors afterwards. So it's a very good wine. I say definitely try it out. Check out Plagidos at the website, plagidoswinery.com. Um, I'll put a link in below the video. And if you guys need any, have any questions or need more information, please look me up on my site, dragonalley.com. Thank you so much. Bye.